Generative design is a design exploration process to quickly generate and evaluate high-performing design alternatives. Until now, many generative design tools have been hard to use because they required our customers to know how to code, understand special terminology, or know how genetic algorithms work. Now you can use generative design directly in Revit to quickly generate design alternatives based on your goals, constraints, and inputs. Generative Design provides a set of sample study types to demonstrate how this tool can be used to generate outcomes for design challenges. You can easily run one of the predefined studies or recipes with Generative Design in Revit, such as workspace layout or massing. Let's suppose you want to determine the best arrangement of desks in a large room. Your goals are to maximize the number of desks while also maximizing views to the outside. You may also want to minimize the distance from each desk to the nearest exit. After Generative Design has completed a study, you can explore the design alternatives to find the solution that best meets your needs. For each outcome, the parallel coordinates chart highlights its input and output values. You can also use this chart to filter and prioritize outcomes by simply clicking and dragging over one or more of the columns. Another way to review and analyze outcomes is through a scatter plot. You can use this chart's options to change the criteria used for the X and Y axes and format the outcome values. Once you've selected the outcome you'd like to implement in your model, simply select that outcome and click Create Revit Elements. The design change will appear in the model immediately. As you can see, this sample study helped me arrange the placement of desks in a large office room, giving me an optimal layout corresponding to my design goals. There are two other studies or recipes ready to be used. Maximize window views. You may use this sample study type with generative design to determine the best position in a room for optimal views to the outside. Three box massing. You may use this sample study to generate alternatives for three adjacent buildings as simple masses to maximize floor area while minimizing surface area. Start using generative design in Revit today to quickly evaluate design options and save time with automation.